I'm going to be cutting down five old apple trees here in the orchard at the farm. Uh, we're going to put a tent here later this year, so we need to get rid of these five trees that will be in our way. So we're going to get the chainsaw out and cut them down and then use the tractor as a grapple on the front to drag it down to the woods out of the way. So it should be fun. job. <laughs>
Is he asleep? Yeah. He's going to be real mad if we don't wake him up. But he's yeah, also going to be mad if we wake him up. He was pissed that we had to leave. He was what? <laughs> pissed off that we had to leave. <laughs> he was screaming. Not really screaming. He was crying the whole way down. I don't want to go to the depot today. We're like, well, we're going. So, <laughs> do you want to go home and sleep? He's like, yes, because I'm not going to the depot. <laughs> so I told him, okay, you shut your eyes. I'll let you know when we get there. And he shut his eyes and he hasn't woken up since. I thought he liked Home Depot. He does, but he was mad because he wanted to stay here. He's like, I'm going to stay here with the guys. Mm. And then you didn't let him. No, that was the mean mom who didn't let him stay. Good job. What do you My think of our... My mom's freaking out that you were going to cut down that tree. <laughs> this one? I said, they're not cutting that tree down. I'm not cutting down my... <laughs> not cutting down my apple tree. Hey, what, what do you need a saw for? You can just pull it up. <laughs> um, you need that left-handed. Yeah. yeah. We were just saying we need to get some protection going for your tree. I'm saying two shiny pie pans. Let them clank. They yeah. make noise. Hey, be shiny. I've been saving dryer lint because really that's supposed to be helpful. Really? Oh, I guess. And, and bags, like of bags of hair. Bags of hair. What about your ponytail that you like cut off? Serial killers yard. Bring that up here. I think it's supposed <laughs> to be fresher. Fresher hair. Yeah, because it stops smelling like you apparently. Just have George peeing on everything out here. That's what I said. Dude, just let him pee all around the garden, all around the Kira, trees. Kira, what do you think of this? We were, we were saying we got to grind down all the stumps, mm -hmm. but this one could be a really nice fire pit for the wedding. As long as Norma's okay with it. I think we should have a fire pit in the s'mores bar. We've already had this property. Heck yeah. I would love That'd that. That'd be super cool. <laughs> so like the tent would stop and then you got a little s'mores bar. And yeah, the tent would stop here? Yeah. Okay. Be well, right on the edge. I don't know. So. So I this tent is supposed to be freaking huge, right? Yeah, so I need... I need the measure thingy too, eventually. What's it called? The measuring tape? I need the measuring tape. Because <laughs> like we re-measured, and I think somebody was opt over-optimistic about the size of what's going to fit in here and oh, how yeah. it fits. So I think we're still fine. It's just I think it was the, the outriggers would have to like be out to here. Which is fine. I don't care about that. I just got to put flags on them and stuff. So I thought you guys were going to... Are you going to grind the stumps? I think I'm confused now. What did you think we were going to do? Chop it off at the ground like Patricia said so it's flat to the dirt. Well, I mean, this one is pretty flat. But I was saying if we need it to be lower, we can get a stump grinder and cut it down into the ground. Like, this is pretty flat. Yeah. I mean, I might be able to get it lower with a chainsaw. I just don't want to kill their blade by chopping into the dirt. Right. Okay, this one's real low, but you know, it's still there. I, I could go care. lower. Do you feel like it's safer for your guests? Because your guests are going to be the ones walking around it. So. Well, I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, so this, say this is the very edge of the tent this way, and then let me run this way. Oh, oh, I do you stay there? No, no, say we're. Can't move now. Yeah, you gotta step up a foot or two. How far is it? It's only 62. <laughs> yeah. So this is 80. And then. Then you have to go 40. If you can go 40. You gotta stand here, Casey. Can you get me unhooked from that dirt? And how far down that way did you go? To the tree. Okay. Timber when the tree's falling. Can I can you do that? Come over here. Come over here.
It's on your toes. Yeah. Are you getting those other pieces of it? He's a hard working boy. <laughs> so now we can just leave that little apple tree where it is. It's okay. It is bud now. Two more. Thanks. Oh, George, you're so hard working. You're a hard working boy. He's going after the stuff. <laughs> Getting all the parts. Wow. Shoot, you're Ooh. so hard working. Good throw. You know, when he said he got a grapple for that thing, I thought it would be something that attached to the back and would latch on to the tree and you would drag it down. Yeah. But I was completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a horizontal, like a pincher sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe. Here comes George. Which really, I mean, all I was picturing in my head was like you can whip a, train a chain around it and pull it wherever, but with that, I mean, you can actually pile stuff up. All right, we got all the trees cut down. Got some stumps to take care of, but all in all, looks pretty good now. So we're going to do some more work tomorrow, and we might work on these stumps a little bit, I guess. Uh, do some more tree trimming. Probably some other stuff too. We'll see what happens.